Grinders, we're back. Grind Gazetta Urban News Channel with a hip hop twist with a strong emphasis on business. On this edition, we're getting into Lil Wayne. Yeah, recently Wayne has said he's not even close to his Google net worth amount of 160 million. And that has people going wild wondering why. Wayne ain't sitting on like at least 200 million after over 20 years in the music business and being one of the hottest artists almost all of his years. But what really get me is how is his artist that was under him on Young Money, Drake, worth 250 million, making 70 million a year? Yeah. We definitely got to do a portfolio on Drake, but I'm just tripping on how he passed up. Wayne, of course, well, you know, he's more popular, younger, whatever. But usually, the the owner of the label is going to always be getting way more than you as an artist. So that leads me to believe that Wayne's young money might just be an imprint Wayne might not be a 20% owner of Young Money so we all kind of believed that Birdman was getting the bulk of that money but it's kind of bad when Wayne's the one who brought them Tiger, Nicki Minaj Drake Twist Less other artists, you know what I mean? And plus, Wayne's money is funny because if y'all remember, he had that tax debt in 2011 for $7 million, and in 2012, 6.8. So he had to pay the IRS a total of $14,194,000. Yeah, y'all. Let's hear at Grind Gazette. Be pocket watching, man. And then um, Wayne got help from Jay Z. This is when it was rumors that Little Wayne's about to sign to Rockefeller Records, which he was gonna do. But Jay Z helped him out with that tax problem, which was big. That's why Jay Z is that dude. And now recently, Little Wayne had tax problems again, so that's why he launched a tour for this summer. The Welcome to the Carter Tour to get him out of that tax debt. Let me tell it. And it's cool that him and Birdman is somewhat cool because he was suing Birdman for $50 million, but they end up selling out of court for a little over 10 mil. So that helped Wayne out a little bit. And really in this rap game, if you ain't doing something outside of music also, you ain't gonna have no hundred millions. And this is proof of that. A big artist like Wayne. See, he doesn't have that. He had a clothing line, truck fit. That's, I think it's defunct or it's not doing too hot now. I was a fan of it though. But um, anyway, you need stuff like that outside of music to really sustain that lifestyle, man, that rap lifestyle that most rappers like to show off and all that good stuff. But Wayne, I think he's kind of over it, though, when it comes to that. You know, Wayne is more concerned about his skate skate culture and just doing, you know what I mean, just relaxing, doing his thing. He's like a rock star vibe, you know. He's not into all that BS anymore, at least. But, yeah, we pocket watching Wayne. But... Somehow our boy Wayne will be all right. He gonna get that, be worth that two hundred million. You know what I mean? So yeah, y'all. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think about Weezy F's pockets. And continue to like and subscribe to Grind Gazette, where we're always pocket watching. And remember, if you don't grind. You don't hey shine. y'all, it's your girl Siani Love from Growing Up Hip Hop. Make sure y'all check out my boy Cram's clothing line, Grind at GrindClothing.net.